Hey brother, Stuart Matola, men's relationship coach here. Yes, I'm in the car. Yes, I'm driving. Don't do this, okay? That's not what this video is about, but uh, I'm not gonna be looking at you much precisely because I do need to focus on the road, but inspiration struck. And actually what I'm gonna do is pull over here and be a better model for those of you out there. But this video is, uh, I'm gonna talk to you about how to notice if you're in your relationship um, because of fear and the cost of that to you and how it can result in you feeling like you're living in a small relationship that doesn't feed you, doesn't energize you and keeps you wanting something else. And at its worst, it can show up as, oh my God, I don't even know who I am in this marriage anymore, our relationship. Or, wow, I have to betray myself to stay married to this person. Um, so notice if, and ask yourself this, because I want to coach you here for a moment. Notice if you experience underneath, and it may not be something at the top of your mind, but underneath in that unconscious realm, Try to bring that up and, and, and go deep here for a second. Do you experience, um, do you stay in your relationship because you fear rejection? Because you fear being alone? Because you fear being the jerk who breaks up? Just notice that. And I'm not advocating in this video to just jump ship and get out of your relationship. What I am advocating is noticing the motivations that keep you in your relationship okay because that's like that moment of truth to get to the truth to set you free into a bigger version of your relationship okay so if you experience those fears let's just go with fear of being alone because that's a huge one like i just put up with this it is what it is because in the, the day i don't want to be alone okay i get that and that is so true for so many of us. And I experience that myself. I do. No, no different. I experienced that in a 20 plus year marriage. But what I've come to realize and what I coach my clients in is that when um, I deal with that fear directly within myself and I'm not uh, outsourcing or downloading that onto my partner, I feel so much freer, so much bigger. And now I'm coming to my relationship with a bigger version of me instead of a version that says, it's your responsibility to make sure that I'm okay. Now, as a dude, chances are you've been on the receiving end. Okay. Any time of that, you need to make me okay. You need to let me know you love me enough. You need to reassure me that you're going to be there for me. Um, yeah, that, that's reasonable expectations from a, a partner at a certain point. But if it's so over-exaggerated, you're just like, oh my God, it's like a burden, a weight I got to carry. Then you have an understanding of what it's like to be the recipient of somebody who's projecting their fears of being alone or, or not being okay onto you. Huh? So imagine how that feels on your partner's side if you're doing that to her and you might not even be aware of it. Okay. And this is what I call a small love. The big love, which is the opposite, which is energizing a dynamic relationship, a relationship where you feel um, uplifted, a bigger version of yourself, doesn't mean you're not going to have conflict and challenging situations and moments. You're going to have more resources to work through those challenges to become conflict resilient, conflict confident, and not conflict fearful. Because that's what happens. Typically, we can't work through conflict. And uh, we get, we go sideways, we get heated, we withdraw, retreat, because we don't have the resources within ourselves. But when you learn to work with your fears of being alone or being rejected within yourself. Okay? And I don't have this video 
I will not go into that just because I want to keep this tight and focused, but I'm glad to have that conversation uh, if you want to talk. And uh, if you'd like to hear more about that, put a comment below and I'll talk about that in a future video. But the ability to, uh, you know, I'm not saying you isolate and deal with all your fears alone, but notice the difference between downloading your fears onto your partner and having that become part of the relational fabric of your relationship, an enmeshment as opposed to like, actually, I work with most of my fears on my own, fear of being alone, fear of rejection. And uh, uh, I learned to take responsibility for my safety. And then I share those gifts with my partner. Like, hey, I was getting really scared the other day and uh, I realized A, B, and C and it was, it was just so cool. I wanted to share that with you. This is a powerful thing that us guys can do. So I'm going to leave it there. I hope this video was helpful for you to understand how staying in relationship for the fear of being alone and downloading that onto your partner uh, just degrades the quality of your relationship. And you can do much better, brother. So if you want to learn more, like I said, I'll leave some links to my work below or just leave a comment. Say, hey, I want to hear more about how I can take responsibility for my own safety and not dump that onto my partner. So thanks so much for watching. And have a kick-ass day.